gosh, how to follow that one. Okay, so I have two words that I thought of to describe what mathematics means to me. The first of them, Jackie used, but not at the beginning, which was ubiquity. It is everywhere. Now, that is a learned skill. As in, when I look at the world, I see mathematics everywhere. But when I walk into an art gallery, I may not understand what every painting means, so I have a tour guide to help me. But gradually, one could learn to notice things that one didn't notice before. So that ubiquity of mathematics is something that hits me all the time. The second aspect of mathematics is its interconnectedness. Everything that I've ever done, everything I intend to do, things that I experience and so on, the mathematics is the thing that provides the links between them. So when I was a physicist, I developed a deep understanding of electrical circuits and what they did. And more recently, I've been interested in ecological systems and so on. And they may seem like quite different things, but because I'm a mathematician, or at least that's one of the hats that I wear, I can translate, and there's that language thing coming through again, all of that intuition that I have, and I know that because the vehicle of my translation is mathematics, that to the extent that those models are real, that's a valid analogy that I'm making between two different disciplines, not just some superficial thing that I've noticed that might be the same that maybe I should or tr shouldn't trust that aspect of it. So mathematics to me has always been a unifying thing that is everywhere. I, I was going to... One of the other speakers said, can you let us know what you're going to say in advance? And I said, oh, I'm going, probably going to sound like Yoda, talking about the unified, you know, it's like the force, it's everywhere, it unifies everything. Um, how can we encourage more people to choose the more advanced levels of mathematics? I think that that should be true for any subject. And so the question might be the reverse, is how can we avoid people um, avoiding risks. So I often speak to students who start off by saying, I wanted to do extension one, but, and then there's a variety of different things that follow the but. So maybe it is a cultural thing that we want to create an environment and a culture where young people, 15 year olds, 16 year olds, do not see choosing a harder subject as some kind of dangerous decision or risk that they have to take. So only, maybe I've got a fake memory. But when I was at school, students just chose the subject that they thought they could get to that level. And we knew about certain things about scaling. There was a course called multi-strand, and we knew that multi-strand was scaled lower than physics or chemistry, but some of the best students at my school were doing multi-strand science. Some of the best students were doing foreign languages. And they knew that that would reduce their marks to go to university by 10 or 15 or whatever, but somehow the fear wasn't there. And so maybe there are system changes we can make, maybe there are cultural changes we can make to create a situation where people are happy to push themselves <coughs> when they're younger. And then the last question was, how can we encourage more people um, to go into mathematics teaching? I agree that you want maths teachers who have a passion for mathematics, but I think they also have to have a passion for teaching because you can be passionate about your subject and yet not be passionate about the human beings that you're going to pass that teaching on to. And certainly we see at the university that you might have one or the other, but it's really good when you have both of them. So I wouldn't want a system that creates false incentives for people to go into careers that do not suit their personalities. But I'm sure that there are many people, many human beings, at that age group or whatever, that have both of those passions. And so we just have to get rid of the disincentives, the financial disincentives, um, the lack of you know um, support for more professional development, spaces to create opportunities for teachers to think about connections and talk to teachers in other departments and so on. Because all those things are wonderful things, but you need a system that creates the safety and the space for people to do those things that are beyond the bare necessity of getting the job done. So yeah.